Hi there, this is Shannon Brown from GrowingSlower.com and today I want to show you how to save a bundle of money this year on your Christmas cards by making your own Christmas photo cards online with just a few free tools and some basic computer skills. Um, you will be able to make your own photos and send them off to your friends and family through email and save about $1.50 per card. So um, first you just go to pickmonkey.com. It's a free online tool and you can click edit and then you'll want to navigate over to the photo that you want to use. And once you get that up, you can just do some basic photo editing if you need to. You can auto adjust the exposure and colors and then you want to crop it down to the size and the shape that you want. So for this example, I'll just be doing a five by seven and you can use the um, lines on the crop box at the one third points, try and line up a major line or focal point of your photo on one of those lines if possible. Okay, next we'll hop over to a site called Spectaculous, and you can um, upload your photo. So select that again that you'll be using, and then just click Get Palette, and it will spit out about ten different color schemes that you might want to use for your um, card. If you're not quite sure what colors to use for your text and um, the pick art that we'll be adding later, so that takes a moment to load, um, but we'll keep keep on going. So now let's just add a little um, text for a Christmas greeting. Um, I like to use a lot of times these three uh, fonts, Geo Sans Light, Sacramento, and Veranda, but there is a whole, whole list of any kind of style you want to use. Just to keep in mind that anything with this orange um, crown isn't free, so you might want to steer clear of those if you want to um, do, the, do this completely for free. So we'll say with love from, and I do a separate text box for each um, line of text and sometimes each word. So I just change the color by moving this around. You can also, if you know the exact six digit color, you can type that in right here. You can fade it so that it becomes transparent and you can see the background through it. You can change the size, um, bigger or smaller. And we'll just say that it's from growingslower.com. We'll change the color and the size and we'll center that. Okay, next we'll add word Christmas and we'll change the size on this one too. And if it gets too big, you can just drag this box to resize it and we'll center that and we'll change the color and that's just a color that I got from my color scheme over here at Pictaculous. It's kind of nice if it overlaps the photo just a little bit, but you can still read it and then we'll add another word here. We'll make this one white. And we'll change the size for this one too. Make it a bit bigger and overlap the text just a little bit. And 
I'll just nudge it over with the arrow a little bit to get it exactly where I want it and maybe move it up a little bit let's see next let's um, kind of make it look a little more ready for the holidays so you can click this little snowflake on the bottom left of the list of icons and then you can either select Santa land or winter land and that will expand into a whole bunch of different effects and little cute um, pick art that you can add to your picture to get in the holiday spirit. So I'll just add some frost and when I click on it, it automatically adds it. And then I can just adjust the size um, down and the intensity if I want to make it just a little less um, obvious and say okay and then I'll just add some snowflakes I'll pick maybe three different shapes and you can select those simply by clicking them and they'll be created right here on your photo um, we'll just do a few of those and then we can arrange them here in the corners like so and I think it's nice to keep kind of the similar size and rotation. You can have a couple that are maybe a little bit smaller so they kind of all fit together. Some that are um, off the page a little bit. We can add some of those in um, every corner if we want to. It's nice to also um, try and use um, groupings odd grouping so if you do three or um, five or one and then we can um, fade those out a little bit so they're not too bright over our photo so I like these to be either 40 or 60 percent fade so that we can still see them but they're not too bright you can adjust the fade by dragging the slider on each one. And that's it. You have a holiday Christmas card ready to go send off to um, your friends and family through email completely free and it only took about uh, five minutes so uh, thanks for listening this is Shannon Brown and I'll see you on growingslower.com <laughs>